and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden. Now, guys, it is the 13th. And this week's a pretty big week. Obviously, we're inching closer and closer to Thanksgiving. So I gotta, I gotta reiterate a few things. Gotta go over a few things. Tell you guys some things I think you should actually pick up right now, and go over some things that I think you should just be doing with your coin stack. Obviously, I just got my coin stack above a million. I'm working on that, trying to get that up. And guys, like I always tell you guys, you can't don't view me as the YouTuber with a lot of coins because at the end of the day. I haven't bought packs since the first week of the Madden, so like, I mean, if I can build my coin stack over a million this week, so can you. I mean, I'm doing the same things as you guys, so that's why I feel like some of my advice really works for you guys, because I'm doing the same thing. I pretty much have played no money spent since the first week of Madden, and I've tried my best to do so. Now, I got over a million. I'm going to sell a few things now, because I want to get it for what I want to do for what I want to do. I'm going to need like 2 million coins. For you guys, I think the stack is going to be like a million. But I'll go into all that, obviously, as we get more deeper into this video. Now, quickly, guys, before the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn that notification bell. I couldn't appreciate you guys who do that more. We are close to 12K. We're 500 subs away, boys. So, everyone watching, hit that subscribe button. Let's grind this out today. Let's get as close as we can to 12K. It's another big milestone. And let's keep grinding forward. And, guys, comment down below all your coin stacks down below. And if you need any advice in your coin stack, comment down below. I'll let you know what you can do with it. Just give me the number and ask what I, you know, advice. And guys, like I said in yesterday's video, that you guys couldn't hit 300 likes. I'm stupid. You guys hit it. You guys are you guys are freaking crazy. I couldn't believe that you guys hit 300 likes, and that was crazy. Like the video got posted, and I hit refresh, and it was like 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 guys. It was unreal. Can you guys outdo yourselves? Can you do even better, guys? Today, I'm asking for 400 likes. I want everyone you guys watching this. If everyone of you right now watching this video doesn't click like, it won't happen. Everyone you guys watching, I nothing. There's no greater feeling, guys, than me starting this video and seeing hundreds of likes just pouring in right away can you guys handle that i want at least 30 likes in the first 10 seconds of this video being up boys make it happen let's get the 400 likes and if we can keep going up maybe there'll be a prize for you guys eventually at the end of this because if you guys can get even crazier than this i'm gonna have to give you guys something for this but let's get into this video now first things first the coin stack like i said if you want to enjoy this week if you, if you want to pick up redux cards and enjoy thanksgiving you're gonna need two million coins I'm, I'm sorry but like that is that is the standard if you guys come over to the redux cards which in my opinion guys your coin stack could increase a lot this week. That is why this is important. Play your house rules. It is an auctionable series Redux player. If you guys pull one of the Mutt 10 players, you practically made 600 coin, 600,000 coins to start. If you pull one of the worst ones. And then if you pull one of the best ones, you make over a million coins. Your coin stack could double to triple to quadruple this week if you guys play. So make sure you're getting that done. Now, you could either keep them and then just go, or you could sell them right for the Thanksgiving promo. Now, personally, if you guys pulled any of them, who would you keep going to Thanksgiving? I'm just gonna tell you guys real quick in case you guys need that advice. Would I keep Luck? I love Luck. He's probably the best quarterback in the game, but I think we're gonna get a better one soon, so no. And this is, by the way, I'm, there's the cheaper ones like he is. I always sell all of these guys right here uh, from Calvin. All, and then up here, I'm gonna talk. So Andrew Luck, sell. Rob Gronk, sell. Vic, uh, that's tough. I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do if I got Vic. That's up, to, that's up to your team. Do you have him powered up already? I do, that's why. Kittle, I'd actually probably keep. I don't know, maybe I should, I don't know. I Honestly, I think you should probably initially sell a lot of them because there's just too many coins. They, they're not going to be this price forever. Honestly, no. No, sell them. Sell them. I take it all back. You got to sell these cards because think about it. These cards will not be this expensive for that long. There's going to come a time, like every Redux card in like a month or so, they're going to all be like 300, 400K. So guys, honestly, just sell them. Whenever you pull, sell them and use it for the Thanksgiving promo. I'd much rather sell Kittle and that 800K get me Master Lawrence Taylor and the three Nat Patrick Mahomes, Kamara, whatever comes out. I'd much rather go that route, guys. So get your house rules done. Literally, your this this house rules could pay for your Thanksgiving promo, the whole thing, and you could use those coins to flip and keep building your stack, guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm playing some house rules after I do today's video, so I can get those coins rolling for you guys and trying to get as much as I can. Now, real quick, guys, a little advice with your coins right now. A great, great buy in my opinion. A great buy that I actually just picked up myself. Something that I really recommend. Just a little throw because it is what to do with your coins, right? So this obviously applies. Evan Ingram power up card, guys. I'm telling you. This card is going to be a beast. Let, let's add up. So this is going to cost how much training? The, that, that's a gold card. doesn't matter. 100, 240. Let's go with that. That together is like 5, 7, 900, uh, 900, 1.8. It's going to cost about 3,600 training to get him to an 89 overall. Now, guys, he's going to have an 87 speed, 88 excel, 84 catching, 88 awareness, 85 jumping, 85 ball carrier vision. Uh, 
88 spec catch, 80, 78 catch in traffic, 80 medium route running, and 82 short route running. Guys, he's going to be crazy fast. And the thing is that I break runs with George Kittle because George Kittle gets open as a tight end all the time. And that's with George Kittle. Imagine if I was doing this with like Evan Ingram. Guys, I'm just telling you, I'm letting you know. I think it's a great buy. 3,600 training right now is like 70K, 80K, depending on how efficiently you buy for. I think that's a beast. I'm going to be picking that. I'm going to power that card up after this video. Just a little quick tip. I recommend you pick him up. He's going to be a great tight end too at minimum for quite a while because no tight end has that speed. So I think that's just a great buy. I recommend you spending coins on that. Now, going into the promo. Like I said, if you're just doing the master set, you're going to want a million coins. You're going to have to get a million coins. Now, you could also just come in with 500k and flip and make coins and then get up to that anyways. But I'm saying for the set, it's probably going to cost that much. Now, there's really nothing you could do as far as solos right now that can really help you with all this stuff. Like I said, the best thing you can do right now, your lottery ticket is these house rules. Go play these house rules, guys. It will give you, it gives you like a grand total of like 120K worth of coins if you finish the whole thing, maybe like 60K worth of coins. It gives you trophies and it gives you that free Redux back. Now, let's say it's the worst thing possible. You still make 150K. And I think the Redux players are going to start crashing a little more as more players keep getting, pulling these cards from the packs and they keep selling them. And people, because people obviously aren't that close to being finished yet. Only a few people have, so the market hasn't been affected yet. But I think eventually it will and that will affect them. Now, like I said, it's time to cut the herd. It's time to thin the herd on your team. Going into the Thanksgiving promo, cut out what you don't need. Now, guys, in my opinion, if, if, if the cards if the cards aren't powered up and they're below a 90 overall, and you have, a, it depends on your team, right? If you're a budgety team, leave this advice out. Ignore this advice. If you're like a team like mine, where you're trying to have the best team every time things come out, if they're below 90 overalls, you probably time to start selling them off and waiting because you're gonna replace those positions. I think quarterbacks gonna be a position that we're replacing this week or next week when it drops actually. But I think we should be getting a special stream sometime this week. So we will know the majority of it. Good guys, trust me. I got you guys with all the videos this week. Do not worry. And guys, before we go into Thanksgiving from please do not buy packs. 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 I know you guys always commenting. I spent all my coins on packs. This, these are crap. These are these are evil. They take your coins and they don't give you anything. I know some of you guys probably pulled something from it, but the one guy that pulls versus the 100 guys that lost all their coins, it's not worth it, guys. Save your money. Go in strong. Stay strong all the way. Don't do anything dumb with your coins until Thanksgiving. We're going to have a fun Thanksgiving. It's going to be a great time. Just don't waste your coins. Now, are there investments to make going to Thanksgiving? No. In my opinion, only power-ups. That's about the only... You could maybe, maybe invest in power-ups if you think you're going to get them, but right now, let me show you guys the state of the market so you guys have an idea of why I say no. So we got guys like Dallas Clark, right? He was 110 on Legend Saturday. Now he's one, he's 240. I mean, he was one, two, 210 on Legend Saturday. Now he's 240. These cards are overpriced already. They're going to come down a lot more on Legend Saturday. So pretty much, I think most cards are going to start coming down in value even more than they already have. I've seen him for as low as 230. I've seen um, Krishna Koi in the 200 range. Things are up right now, actually. Things are up compared to the day because there's no packs. It's a Wednesday, guys. I always tell you guys, like, Wednesdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays are sometimes the worst days to be on the market when it comes to buying. There's a time to sell. So, guys, do not invest in anything right now. I think it's a time. Just hold your coins. If you want to buy cards, fine. Wait till Legend Saturday. I think Legend Saturday, Dallas Clark and Bullock might actually go to, like, the 190 range. So, guys, just wait for them. Don't bother. The only investments you can maybe make are, like, guys, I really, I truthfully think that Patrick Mahomes might get a power-up card. So let's go see what it, I mean, Mike had a, uh, a most feared Harvest card, guys. I'm sorry, it's early. So let's go see what Patrick Mahomes card looks like or is going for. Because if it's going for a fair price or not, I might actually buy a few. I doubt it, though. I think I've talked about it too much in videos for you guys to not have jumped on that. All right. Uh, he's probably one of the lower ones. All right, Patrick Mahomes. Hmm. Hold up. Am I spelling Patrick Mahomes wrong? One sec. All right, guys. I was not spelling it wrong. It was, I guess I wasn't filtering right. Guys, we're too late. The Patrick Mahomes train has left the building. He's going to be expensive. And I do. I feel like I have a Mahomes power-up. Could be wrong, though. I do have a Mahomes power-up. Cool. Okay, I was kind of upset. I don't really want to buy this. I have my Mahomes power-up already. I don't know when I got this. I must have bought this a long time ago. But I will take that. Oh, he was like 8K at a point. I remember now. Yeah, I bought these a while ago. So that's great. So I have mine. Guys, I don't really know what you're going to do. I mean, you could see, you could try those exchange packs for them, but just wait. He's going to be this, he's, I promise, he's going to stay this price until the Thanksgiving promo starts. Oh, and if they announce him Mahomes, he's going up to 70K. So, you guys might, you guys might either have to buy them now. You can either buy them now, or you could wait until after, like, weeks after the Thanksgiving promo when he comes back down to life and value him back to earth and you can finally afford him. That's up to you guys. And, I mean, 
If you guys want a predictions video on the players I think we'll see, comment that down below. But as far as power ups, the only one that I think is a shoe, and like something that I think is going to get a card is Patrick Mahomes. I think he's pretty guaranteed to get at least a card this promo. James Conner might get a card too, but I don't really know. I can't guarantee you that one. I feel like he just hasn't gotten a card this year. Has been a little hurt though. But Patrick Mahomes is definitely getting a card. And like I said, no investments. Just don't, don't buy things this week. Just wait. Wednesdays are the worst days to buy things anyways. And it gets even worse because we have a promo coming soon. Wait for the special stream. Wait for them to announce the players. Once everyone announces, the, once they announce the players, people will adjust accordingly though. They'll sell off the quarterbacks that they have for the new quarterback. And then once that happens, then you know that the market is ready and primed for harvest. Then you can go in depth. And then obviously things will change dramatically during the harvest promo because of currencies blitz black friday packs everything's going to change then but if you guys want to go into thanksgiving safe the best thing you can do is wait for the stream do not touch the market yet redux cards maybe once they crash once they start to crash then you can invest in redux cards because i don't think they'll be impacted by thanksgiving too much because thanksgiving and redux cards are like in two different realms redux is more about series updates exchange sets house rules and none of that will be affected by thanksgiving but guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to come below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Comment down below. And like I said, I challenge you. Can we get 400 likes today? Like I said, if you guys haven't liked it already, it's already too late. You guys better start smashing that like button. Like I said, I want to refresh this video for the first minute and see 100 likes. You guys need to smash it, everyone watching. Let's see if we get to 400. Like I said, if we keep getting up to like 5, 6, 7, if we can get up that high, I'll have to do some giveaways for you guys to show some love back for the support you guys show. But that's it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.